moving from the UK to the USA and voltages. Seems like we've had a lot of UK questions here recently. This is from Andrew in Cambridge, England, a very heady educational place. Cambridge, Cambridge. Um, I'm looking to move from the UK to USA, Miami or South America. Um, <laughs> eh, okay. The, the power supply in the UK is different from that in the USA and South America. It's 220 volts compared to 110, about double, right? My system is all British. I don't really want to sell these and rebuild again as I would like to bring them over to either Miami, USA, or Cali, Colombia, uh, where my partner's family is from. What is the best way to power these in the USA or in South America? Is there any difference from USA power, volts, hertz, et cetera, with Colombia? Um, well, I think Colombia, I'm pretty sure, well, I know it's 120 volts, just like the USA is, and I believe it's 60 hertz. I think most of uh, North and South America, I'm pretty sure, are all 60 hertz, but it wouldn't matter. It, it, the, the, the hertz doesn't matter. All your British gear is fine with 50 or 60 hertz. The opposite isn't always true, usually, but it's not always true. So by that I mean if you have equipment that is specifically set up for 60 hertz, it may not work too well at 50 hertz. But the opposite is always true. If it's set up for 50 hertz, it always works at a higher frequency. That's just because a power transformer has to be physically larger to accommodate 50 hertz than it does to accommodate 60 hertz. So a 60 hertz specific transformer would be small relative to a 50 hertz transformer, which is 20% or so larger in size. Does that make sense? So you're, the fact that you're going from 50 hertz to 60 hertz, not a problem. Other way around, could be a problem. Though most manufacturers, including us, and anybody that sells worldwide, we buy all 50 hertz transformers, right? I mean, because look, in any kind of business like this, inventory is really hard. Keeping all these parts in stock and all the transformers. And so it's the fewer parts that we can have as a manufacturer, the more common SKUs we, we, we call them, the stock keeping units, the better off we are to try and have some kind of commonality, right? So for most of us, we all use 50 hertz transformers because it, they work all over the world. All right. So you've got a couple of options here. My watch keeps falling off. I'm going to tighten this stupid thing. You've got a couple options. If you're in the United States, and probably if you're in South America, I'm, I think they're pretty much the same electrical system, almost all homes have 220 volts. I have an electric stove. It runs on 220 volts. I have an electric dryer. It runs on 220 volts. So you've got 220 volts almost in any home. I mean, for very little money, you can call an electrician and say, I need a 220 volt outlet. Pretty easy to do. We have them all over the shop here. The Hertz doesn't matter. So that's the best solution that you can do. Just get an electrician or, you know, f figure out a way to get into your home's electrical system. Because I don't think there's any home in the United States that I know of that doesn't have 220 volts. And usually what they do is they bring it in in two legs of 120 each or 110 each. And um, they, they double them up for the 220. And they just use single phases here and single phases here for the 110s. And I'm sure Columbia is exactly the same way. Last resort, you can buy an isolation transformer. <coughs> Sorry, or a step-down transformer is a, a better, they do isolate, but a step-down transformer. Um, and get an autoformer, I guess. And that's a solution that you can use, not the best, because you're going to have some degradation to the audio doing that. So if you do go that way with a step-down transformer, then you need to make sure that step-down transformer is at least four to five times larger than what you need. So if you're drawing 200 watts, you should get a 1,000 to 2,000 watt um, 
step down transformer. Bigger is better. You can't go wrong. So if you want to go 10 times bigger, 2000 watt transformer to run a 200 watt system, yes, you'd be better off doing that. The bigger, the better that you can afford. The easiest way, just use the 220 that's already in the house. Hope that helps and good luck on your move. Columbia or Miami? I don't know. Have fun. I'll talk to you later.